News. Now let's bring you uh, breaking news from our end here. We begin, I mean, Lagos where a tanker carrying petrol has exploded at a Jai farm bus stop along the Alagbuli Akute Road in Ogun State. We have a report which says that the incident occurred early this morning at the retail station of the Nigeria National Petroleum Corporation in the area. The truck was set to the, be discharging its content before the incident occurred. So in a bid to prevent the inferno from causing more damage, the driver of the truck was said to have jumped into the vehicle and moved it to the road away from the filling station where the tanker exploded moments later. Let's get an uh, update on this incident. Our correspondent Mian Akiri is on the scene of the incident. Mian, bring us up to the minute information with these latest uh, developments. What more do we know? So that, that stop behind me was completely, was raised. completely raised by fire while discharging fuel, fuel at about 6.30 this morning. Now, while we tried to ascertain what took place, we can indeed confirm that um, there were some form of heat from the underground while the tanker was discharging fuel. In fact, it was almost done, but unfortunately, the heat from the underground affected the situation and um, it was completely raised by fire. But then, contrary to reports that um, the filling station was totally raised by fire, we can also confirm to you that this happened outside of the filling station and you can see the tanker outside and um, the filling station not so many parts of the filling station have been affected but what we yet to confirm is how many buildings around this residential area this has affected but i have the director of operations lasema who witnessed the situation and tried to bring you know normalcy to the Alagbolo area of Ogun State, where we have this NNPC um, station. Now, can you just confirm to us or ascertain what truly happened this morning? Uh, first and foremost, I think we need to thank God Almighty for uh, what actually happened today, early hour of 6 uh, 20 a.m. in the morning. Uh, there is a tanker loaded with 45,000 liter of uh, PMS that was uh, discharging. Uh, the product into the underground tank. Yeah, according to our investigation, is almost done with the, the the discharging of the product. And as the truck was about moving out, that was when somebody a passerby noticed there was a fire, and then immediately he alerted uh, the the stations. Already the truck is outside, so. Then the passerby had to call Lagos State Emergency toll free line 767112. And that activates the Lasema Emergency Response Plan. And I practically led the operation together with Lagos State Fire Service. And getting to this place, it was revealed that there was a heat that comes from under the tank after the tank had been discharged and was on its way out of the, uh, the, the petrol station. Uh, so far, so good. Uh, there was no casualty, and then no other properties was destroyed. Okay. And the situation is calm as at present. And you recall that Alagole is a boundary state between Lagos State and Ogun State. Okay. And the effect of it is something that Lagos State should be concerned about. Okay. That is what informed our response. Okay, I must say a very big thank you. Well, um, Ibrahim, like you heard from him, it was caused, you know, as um, as a result of the excess of heat from the other ground while this tanker was discharging um, PMS. Well, I've got um, a consigned person here who is also the MD of Lado Oil and um, who could also give us um, a better background information of what happened here. Thank you. Uh, I think uh, the better background of the incident will have been given by the uh, Director of uh, Operations, Lasema, because I was not actually here. I was uh, driving past, okay. and uh, the, 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 yeah, the filling station belongs to a colleague okay. and a very close friend of mine. So I had to park and uh, see what happened. But from the look of things, the truck has discharged, okay. and the truck was about going out. Okay. And according to uh, eyewitnesses, 
They said they saw fire and they started shouting fire, fire, fire. The driver didn't even know there was fire. He was not driving out and suddenly the fire came, I think, from nowhere. It happens. All I can say is just, is just that uh, it's one of the hazards. Okay. It's one of the hazards of our business. Several times you just see fire and you can't explain how it happens. Okay, so, I say very yeah. thank you. Yeah. Well, that's um, the situation here from Alagbole in Ogun State. As I speak to you, Ibrahim, there is a car, there is a truck here um, that should take this tanker, you know, from here any moment from now. But that's yeah. the situation from Alagbole in Ogun State. Um, rescue operation, so, to a large extent, is still ongoing. Poles have been affected that indeed transmit light to different houses. Um, we can't confirm yet if neighborhood properties are affected, but then we will continue to give our viewers updates concerning the incident here in Alagbole, Open States. All right, we sincerely pray that uh, we don't have um, this unfortunate incident recorded again because um, the temperature now is even 34 degrees degree centigrade and the heat was actually, uh, you know, came out from the tank. Well, thank you so much, Mian, for that beautiful reporting.